Are you trying to rebuild your mouth area? Does it feel like it's just caving in and getting wrinkly and all floppy? Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you some of my best tools I've learned over the past 20 years. Welcome back to my treatment room. My name is Christine Beyer. I've been doing this for 20 years. I've been rebuilding faces for the last 20 years. And the first and one of my favorite ways to bring back the mouth area is through simple massage. And believe it or not, massage is wonderful for releasing repetitive facial expressions and also loosening up very tight muscles in this area. And bringing fresh blood supply and sweeping out old lymph. And if you don't know what lymph is, lymph is the body's garbage disposal system. And this is an area that tends to collect a lot of lymph for many people. So massage in this area has a high payoff. You can do it with your fingers. You can do it with a tool. This is a gua sha tool from Jane Mann. I love this little guy. Helps get up underneath the jaw where all this you can get a collection of puffiness. And this reminds me of a story of a client I once had. She had a history of chin breakouts. And she was, I think she was in her 30s at this point. And I went in, I was doing facial contouring massage with microcurrent, and I released her chin and did, you know, did microcurrent. I was using microcurrent gloves, and I was able to pull apart a whole bunch of restricted fascia. And fascia wraps our body together. It's the glue that, that holds our organs in place, and it's, it's a really interesting body system. But her fascia was so restricted from repetitive breakouts in the chin area that it had shrunk. Her chin shrank over years of that. And I was able to go in there and shoot through very gentle massage at first, and then a little bit deeper and pop her chin back out. Now she was in her 30s, so we were able to get a good response very quickly. Sometimes the longer it's been there, the longer it takes to release it all. But she was shocked. <laughs> she actually, she was an esthetician and she actually went and took Jane Mann's class after that. And I think it opens up a whole new world when you discover the value of a targeted massage that has science behind it and and fascia release massage has science behind it and works even if you did just a youtube video i think the extra blood supply you get from massage is very helpful and it does clear out lymph so it's it's a high bang for your buck low cost way of making your face look better almost instantly number two you really want to use something that is going to build back this area. Now that you've got fresh blood supply and you're really working on it, you want something that is going to just nourish this and build it back up. And one of my favorite ways to do that is through neogenesis. This is human stem cell releasing molecules and they get their stem cells from adult human donors. So this is a very up and up company. I've worked with about a handful of human stem cell companies and Neogenesis delivers just better than I've seen in the past because they use the stem cell releasing molecules from skin. <laughs> so it's a, it's, it's a great boost for the skin. It plays well with all other products. It should be the first thing on your skin. You use a few drops. I just slather it on this area and they actually have, I mean, although I sell this, they have some pictures on their website of before and afters of how it just brought this area back to life on a few women. So this is a must have if you're battling aging and you just want to get that freshness back to your face. My third favorite way, I don't know if these are in any order <laughs> to tell you the truth, because my third favorite way is machines but that's probably my first one of my favorite ways historically has been microcurrent and this little guy now I, you need conductive gel with this and this little guy this is the clear blend mini there are lots of devices out there but i tend to like this one just because it has sort of a rolling frequency that you don't have to think about and what that means is it it's 
it's shuffling through all these different wavelengths that go deeper, lighter, deeper, lighter. So it's really changing up the workout. So as I do this, it's hitting my skin at all these different levels, like lymph, deep muscle, and then back up. So it's just doing this wave and, and really keeping my muscles guessing as to what's coming next, as opposed to a machine that uses one frequency, meaning you turn it on and it's just on. So it'd be the difference between taking a walk and doing high intensity interval training. You know, it's like changing it up completely. So there's this, and this is gonna rebuild the scaffolding or the muscles first. And then with continued use, you'll see a thickening of the skin. And I, I combined this with facial contouring massage and it is a winner, winner, winner. If microcurrent is not in your anti-aging arsenal, it needs to be. My favorite machine, I think, of all time, it's a, it's a, it's close with microcurrent. And the thing is, you can use both because they do different things. Now, this is a little Korean device. This is called the Time Master Pro. It has been a smash hit. I am having a hard time keeping it in stock. So, what's special about this machine is that it has ultrasound to the tune of ninety thousand waves per second, which is a lot. So if you go on Amazon or eBay and you look up an ultrasound device, it's probably going to have about 14,000 to maybe, if you're lucky, 20, maybe 30, I've never seen that before, waves per second as output. This is 90 waves per second. <laughs> and this is what's made it such a smash hit. And the LED that comes with it is pretty strong, which is nice. But for me, that's sort of just icing on the cake and you use this, you slather your face in a really nice hydrating conductive gel and the, you just go. And it has a timer that goes off every 10 seconds and you just kind of do circles and then move to the next place and do circles, 10 seconds. And it's a 10 minute treatment twice a week. You don't want to overuse this guy. I really think that when they say 10 minutes twice a week, they mean it because it is such a great workout for the skin and you see a difference right away so you want to use it a lot but the fibroblast activity the collagen activity that comes from the fibroblast from this little guy it reminds me and people give me crap about this but it reminds me of the response of microneedling of bringing back like the backs of your hands crepey necks it's just a fabulous little machine for that so this has been like i said bestseller amazing little machine, a lot of fun to use, and all these different color LEDs. This, is, this was like Christmas day when I got this. I just was so excited about it. Another way to bring back the bottom third of the face is retinol. If you're not using a vitamin A, absolutely needs to be in your anti-aging arsenal. Vitamin A thickens up the epidermis. It makes your pores smaller, works on fine lines and wrinkles, and really nourishes the skin. Now, this is an encapsulated form of vitamin A. In the past, vitamin A products have been, you know, retinols, retin-A, that kind of thing, has been really harsh on the skin. And I had a client come in the other day, and she looked, I hadn't seen her in a year, and I was like, what are you doing? Because <laughs> she looked so dry, and she's like, well, I went back on my Retin-A and I just think it was drying the bejesus out of her skin. So we replaced it with this much gentler form, which uses retinol, but it also uses, it. well, it's encapsulated, so it's a slower release, so there's less irritation. I was able to just pick this up and start wearing it. It's called Sleep On It Retinol, it's my little sleep, sleep on it. It's Christine Byer Botanicals. I was able to just start using it and I never really got dry. I just saw the benefits. And so that's not been the case for me with most retinols. Image retinols oh, are so strong. <laughs> I mean, they're like the creme de la creme. But th this for $60 lasts a long time and is going to really rebuild this bottom third of your face. So my last favorite way of bringing back this bottom third of the face so that it looks really natural but has more volume and really brings it back to life so you don't get that weird chip monkey look you know if you have fillers down there is 
the Scopla facial filler mask. Now this is a Korean facial filler mask and it has to be put on by estheticians here in our treatment room. And it was kind of a tricky mask to put on and it builds up in the follicles. It is made with dissolvable sutures, a uh, very high grade of that called polylactic acid that is made in Korea. It's a treatment, so it would be done in a series of three to five and it builds up more and more into the follicles. And as it builds up more into the follicles, the face fills out more and more. And so it's a really interesting product and it's been really popular here. It's very popular in my practice and they are coming out, so I hear, with a home mask. Now, I don't think it's gonna be as strong as the one that we do here, and I don't know a lot about it, just that it's coming out. <laughs> and anytime they've had a launch of anything, because they have home products like the Cavi, which is a pretty thick multi-serum, and this has a high percentage, about 40% of the polylactic acid, and then they have their stem cell mist, which is a much lighter product, uh, and can be used for con conducting microcurrent or the Time Master Pro. And it's probably about 10% polyelectric acid because it's meant to be sprayed on over makeup throughout the day to keep that mask in place. Now, if you don't have access to the mask, you soon will, and you'll also have both of these that go into these follicles. If think about how furry this area is. It goes into those follicles, it latches onto the hairs, and it just starts to send out that message of collagen regeneration every second that it's on your face. And if you have a series of five, it takes about nine months for that to completely, for that to completely go away and oxidize by the skin. But if you do a topper every other month, it does stay in place a pretty long time and my clients love it. And then they'll use these two as insurance to keep that, keep the mask in place. So those are my five top ways of rebuilding the bottom third of the face. Number six is a mystery. I have not tested it in its entirety yet and I have it coming. It's something pretty mind blowing. Could be the next big thing in skincare, right up there with microneedling. And stay tuned because I'll have more on that in the future.